Upgrading to the condo of your dreams doesn't always scream massive loans, little or no money down schemes, or sell one buy two strategies. Because there is a safer way to go about planning your upgrading journey. Now many of you who are between the age of 35 to 44 years old are probably thinking about upgrading to a condo for your kids to enjoy the pool or the barbecue pits or just simply making new friends. But what's the point of staying in such a beautiful condo when you're just so stressed out about paying your next mortgage? You see, most Singaporeans take the maximum of 75% bank loan and end up using up to 50% of their household income to pay off their monthly mortgage repayment. That is an extremely risky place to be in. That is super crazy. So, with higher loans and higher interest rates, it means higher monthly mortgage repayments. Not forgetting, what if in the worst case scenario, your household income drops? So this is why I created a free guide for you to be aware of the three problem-based scenarios you shouldn't be in when upgrading to a condo. So click on the link below to claim your free guide. You see, my family experienced the same scenario. We bought uh, a four-bedroom condo for about 1.2 million with an 80% loan without much proper financial planning back in like 1997. I think I was in primary school at that time. So they were fine paying the mortgage at that time and mind you, we just found out yesterday that the interest rate back then was close to 5-6% to 6 which is really crazy. But at that time, it was a norm, right? And so, they were okay to pay the mortgage at the time. But when unforeseen circumstances happened, they weren't prepared for it. And therefore, there was a huge strain on our family's finances such that we couldn't afford paying the mortgage anymore. So, fast forward. In about 2003, we had to force sell our full Seaview condo for half the price at about 600,000. So this is why I'm so passionate to help families avoid what my family has been through. Hence, I've compiled a quick guide to help you avoid such scenarios from happening to your family. All you need to do is just to click on the link below to get that free guide. So let me show you a quick glimpse of the calculations on how to safely navigate your upgrading process. Let's take an example of a 1.2 million condominium. Did you know that most Singaporeans use up to 40 to 50% of their combined income to service their loan? That is super, super risky. Ideally, you want to work towards bringing that down to at most 30%. So in order to hit that 30%, I've done all the hard work for you already. In order for you to comfortably service the loan with the worst case scenarios in mind, you should have about a minimum combined income of approximately $13,500. Now I'm assuming you are about maybe 35 to 37 years old or something. Maybe you are owning a car right now, you have to service that car loan. So we're all about that age, right? So based on a 1.2 million condo, if you take a maximum loan of 75%, that means that your down payment is 25%, right? Out of the 25% down payment, 5% has to be paid in cash and the remaining 20% can be paid by cash and or your CPF ordinary account. But typically, we will usually try to cover this whole 20% down payment using your CPF to cover this portion. So at this point, bear in mind that both you and your spouse, CPF ordinary account must have at least 240,000 combined. Where does this huge amount come from? Don't worry, usually it will come from the sale of your current flat, where a big portion of your sales proceeds will be actually refunded back into your CPF ordinary account. So on your end, as a property buyer, you must, must, must make sure that your CPF refunded back into your ordinary account from the sales proceeds of your HDB must be able to cover at least this 20% down payment. And that's not all, there are so-called hidden fees that people talk about. You need to factor in the basic stamp duty, which for a 1.2 million condo amounts up to $32,600. So the total amount in both your CPF ordinary account has to safely cover both your down payment, 20% down payment, and your basic stamp duty, which totals up to about $272,600 combined. Of course, not forgetting, you also must prepare for your total cash upfront, which must be at least $62,700, which is your 5% cash down payment, plus don't forget your legal fees, which is usually covered from the sales proceeds um, cash, cash-wise. So just make sure that it is actually really covered from your sales proceeds, all right? Now, everything that we do has to be based on your affordability. So back to my example, let's say we're looking at the couple who is 35 to 37 years old. 
even with a 75% max loan, let's say with the interest rate of about conservative 2.5% right now, right? Your monthly mortgage repayment should amount up to about $3,727. Not forgetting, you still have to pay your monthly management condo fees. That's a ballpark figure, including GST. I would assume maybe $450 which by the way is a conservative amount. It could go as low as 300 or 350. And not forgetting, lastly, your property tax payable per year. So I prorated everything and I've calculated your total monthly repayment to be safe. It's about $4,200. So your total monthly mortgage repayment will be about 31.79% of your total combined income, which is about a third of your combined income, which is the goal that I want for all of you. Of course, ideally, if you want to be even safer, if you have and have the ability to have even more cash savings that allow you to put a higher down payment such that you can take maybe only up to a 60% loan. Sparing the details, your monthly mortgage repayment will take up only a quarter of your income to service your loan, which is even safer. So in the event, if one spouse loses a job or you have a significant dip in your income, you won't be banging your head against the wall or being super stressed out about paying your mortgage. So as you can see, all the hard work has been done for you. This calculation is included in my free upgrading guide. And so all you need to do is just to click on the link below to get it now.